Welcome to Academic Web Services Training. I'm your host, David Pinter. And in this session, what we're going to be talking about is splitting up sections inside of an EPUB Calibre file. Now, what happens sometimes when you go through the conversion process from Word into EPUB, you end up with just one gigantic document all the way down. Sometimes you can put in page breaks, but most of the time it doesn't work. So you have to do it manually here inside of Calibre. So let me take a look at the editor. So what I'm noticing here is that we have the publication information probably should just be one section on its own. And then we have the editors and contributors that will scroll down to about here. That should be its own section and then chapters one through eight and so forth will be broken up into its own sections. Now what this is going to do is if you take a look at over here on the top left hand corner you'll see that we have only just one index.html file. We want to break that up into several documents so it's easier to edit instead of trying to find things all the way through certain chapters and so forth. So let me show you how to do that. What you do is you come down here to this little button and this is the split this file at a specified location button. And all you do is you just simply just click that button and then roll your cursor up to the section that you want to, to be split. But before I do that, what I want to do is I want to come over here and change the name of the index.html file. I want to change it to this first one. It's called publication information. So let me change that first. So I'm going to come over here, right-click it, and then simply just rename the file. And I'm going to call it publication lowercase. And just hit return. Now what we're going to do is going to come down, let it do its thing. Now we're going to come down and just place that little green line after the section that you want. So right there. And now what it's telling you is that the next section here, okay, that we've just created is called Editors and Contributors. You notice when I click that, this right here occurred. Let me open this up a little bit. It's telling it's a split one. So I want to call this one, next one in line, Editors. So I'm going to right click that and call it Editors. And then hit Return on the keyboard. So we have one right in order, one and two. Now the next one that we're going to be doing is we're going to scroll down a little bit further here to the chapter one. Come over here, click the button, and then simply just click right here. So that's going to get then split that section up. So now we're in chapter one. I'm going to come over to this one now and then just right click it and call it chapter one. Like this. Hit return on the keyboard. Again, now we'll come down to the bottom of chapter one. Click our split button, place it in between, and click. So, so the next one that's been created is this one right here, this chapter one split, so we're going to call this one chapter two. and hit return on the keyboard. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause, I'm going to go through and change all of these to the specified chapters, and then we'll take a look at what we have, save it, and then view it up on the web. All right, I've just finished all of the chapter splitting. So we, what we have here is publication editors and then chapters one through eight. It makes it a lot easier to edit your document when you know there's something I need to edit inside of chapter four. I can just simply just double click it. Our tab comes up here to the top and then we can just go right through chapter four and edit as we'd like. Go to the very top, chapter four, and it looks good. Now let's save this and then go over to the internet and then check to see what it looks like when it's online published. So let's go to File, Save, or come over here and hit the Save button or Command S or Control S on the keyboard. And now what we want to do is want to go over here to the EPUB reader that's online. Now this right here is the original one before I saved the edited copy. And as you notice, it's just one long continuous scrolling document all the way through. And it's quite large. This is a fairly large document, so we want to break it up into pieces. So let me close that out for a moment. 
So I'm going to go over here to this little X here and close that out. And then what we're going to do is go, we're going to refresh the page and then reopen that one document. So what we have here is we have the front cover and then when we click down to the next page, what we have is just only the publication information. You can see I can't scroll anywhere, so I just have to hit next here to go to the section. So now we're in the editors and contributors. So that right there is the section that's been completed like this. Looks clean and neat. And we'll go to now chapter one. So if we now scroll down to the bottom here, go to the bottom of chapter one, you can see where it ends right here with the references. And then we can just jump right here to the next chapter two. So there you go. Breaking up your document, organizing it, and then renaming HTML files inside of Calibre.